Hello and welcome to this uh, third capsule that I'm offering. Uh, today I will be talking more as a counselor than as a nurse, uh, but it is in the field that I've been working in uh, for the longest right now, and it is addiction. Uh, so today I will be talking more about alcohol. Uh, so the first thing is that here in Quebec, we're very, very tolerant onto the uh, quantity of alcohol that is tolerated as a, um, a blood control level, actually, at 0.08. Uh, in most countries, we're talking more about uh, 0.04, 0.05. So, um, and I know this law is basically made more for the car, but what's uh, important to understand is that you do have an impaired judgment uh, when you hit that 0 0.04, 0 0.05. Uh, so just remember that even if you're a car and you're you're falling asleep, even if you haven't drank, you could still be arrested uh, for impaired judgment uh, while you're driving. So that's why I'm going to talk about it more on a, on a general level. Uh, mostly, I know like that's lots of um, of my clients ask me like why can't I stop? Uh, well, there is of course when you hit that impaired judgment, uh, that's imp uh, important to understand. So um, uh, basically, I will start talking about uh, the uh, law of effect, uh, which is one of the laws that we use to understand how uh, uh, alcohol and drugs can have an effect on you. So there is the context that is important. Uh, uh, that there's also the individual, and uh, there's also the substance itself. So to start with, I'll just talk a little bit about the individual, because what happens is um, to understand uh, that when you are drinking alcohol, you are drinking it, so you're putting it actually in a stomach, which is like a pouch to start with. Uh, unlike if you smoke something, it will go into your lungs and it will go directly into your blood. Well, if you're uh, consuming something by the mouth, you're putting it in the stomach, and it takes time to digest it before it goes in your blood. Remember, we're talking about blood levels. Uh, so what happens, the quantity of alcohol in your blood levels. Uh, so um, what you have to see is that uh, depending uh, on uh, what uh, size you are, it will have an effect. That's why there's a big difference between men and women. What happens is that uh, m men and women don't have the same fat levels uh, just because of uh, our, our, our breasts and because of her thighs, women at the same weight should have a higher fat level. And since alcohol does not dissolve in grease uh, or in fat, what will happen is that it will make a less quantity of blood, therefore a higher alcohol level. Uh, there's also the organs apparently that are a little bit smaller in a woman. So what will happen is uh, that the liver, which is what helps filter the alcohol, is a little bit smaller. So that can play a role also on uh, digesting the alcohol. Um, so that that's something to take into consideration. So what happens is the same thing. If you have uh, two people that are uh, two men, one of them that is very strong, uh, you know, and, and and very sportive, does not have a fat, lots of fat, uh, will obviously should have more blood, therefore a bigger tolerance compared to somebody who has a higher uh, a con a quantity of grease or a higher fat level. So um, So that makes it more fat, less blood, Therefore, with the same quantity of alcohol, you'll have a, a, a higher blood level or your impaired judgment will, uh, will be attained a little bit faster. Uh, now to understand more about the law effect about the substance itself, uh, there are three kinds of substances. There's uh, the, disrupting, uh, situ uh, the disrupting ones, the stimulants, and the uh, depressants. Now alcohol is considered as a depressant, uh, but it actually is one of the only substances that has two phases. So it has a first phase, which has a stimulant effect, and then it has a depressant effect. Now, when we hit that peak, is when we talk about that 0 0.04 or 0 0.05 level. Uh, so you want to take that into consideration because when you hit that impaired judgment at 0 0.04 or 0.05, it'll be a lot uh, more difficult to stop afterwards. Um, so I'm going to try to put some links down uh, low so that you can try to calculate your, your alcohol levels uh, with the site on uh, Educalcol, which also has an English version. So you can uh, understand a little bit more uh, uh, depending on your weight, uh, at what point you can hit that 0 0.05 or 0. So, but what you should understand in general is that after two or three uh, consumptions, it's pretty much inevitable uh, that uh, you will have a depressant level, uh, that you will start a, a, a depressant level because you will hit that impaired judgment at 0 0.05. Um, 
like after two or three uh, consumptions, which is even somebody that's about 250 pounds should hit uh, even the 0 0.08 after after three uh, three um, consumptions. Um, and of course, it's a lot. Most people will drink a lot faster than they will digest their alcohol. So that's something to take in consideration also. Um, now, just to understand a little bit the quantities, I'll try to put another link below. Um, but see if um, mostly because lots of people drink wine. So you can do this test at home. At uh, 120 milligrams, uh, you're, uh, it's considered uh, like a glass of wine. So if you would put that into a glass, you would see how this glass actually isn't full all the way to the to the tip now, you know. So uh, usually a glass of wine, um, I mean a bottle of wine should have 5.8 to 6 uh, consumptions in a bottle. So uh, that's something to take into consideration. Uh, or else a normal beer, not a big one, is uh, 375 or 13.25 uh, ounces normally. Um, so just take that into consideration. Every individual is different. Of course, uh, some people have um, uh, health problems. Problems uh, that can uh, affect also uh, the uh, the alcohol level, and um, also about the impaired judgment. Obviously, if you're using during a night, you're probably not drink. Uh, you're probably not sleeping. You're probably uh, not eating all the time. Not everybody eats that much, uh, and also you're not hydrating yourself. And what happens is that alcohol will have a diuretic effect. Therefore, you will be going to the bathroom from where the expression "drink wine" and go piss too. Uh, well, what happens is that so you have to take that also into consideration. So it's very important to uh, hydrate yourself. So that's about it. I hope this helped and uh, have a good day. Thank you.